all started with one simple phone call. A voice on the other end said the words I'd been waiting for. You got it. Stop Monday. I hung up the phone feeling like a champion until it hit me. Monday was coming real fast. And my new fresh start? Bruh, miles, miles and miles away. Walking? That would take me so long. I need to pack camping gear just for that. Yes. Taking the bus? <laughs> Not an option. With their prices nowadays, I would need to apply for a second job just to afford that ticket. And the car. Boy, police. The only four wheels I own are on a shopping trolley I borrowed years ago, bruh. So there I was, staring at a wall, staring at a ceiling, asking myself life's biggest question. How do I get to my fresh start? How on earth do I get there without going broke? Broke boy problems, bruh. Then it came to me, like a lightning bolt of genius. Like Einstein whispering into my ear, bro. Like Google Maps, but cheaper. I would build the cheapest electric bike ever. Sounds simple, right? Wrong. Step one was finding a bike. I scoured the internet until I discovered a sad looking, abandoned e-bike which was rusty, a bit dusty, but it looked like it had survived three world wars, built to last baby, and it looks like it even survived the zombie apocalypse, but to me, this thing was perfection. I dragged it home like a treasure hunter bringing back gold bro, and then the real suspense began. The battery, dead, absolute dead, -up. completely gone so i did what any true professional would do i watched three not four only three youtube tutorials ignored all of them and guessed my way through the whole thing i swapped the old battery with the high capacity one big enough to power a spaceship bruh or at least a toast and a playstation at the same time Okay, let's get down to business. We gotta actually connect this battery to the e-bike, to the e-bike controller, all right? So the controller came with its own little funky connector that does not fit the current connector on the battery. We gotta swap these connectors out, we'll chop it off. There's a red and black wire under here. Your battery's got a red and black wire and connector. You just gotta make sure they match up like preschool, red to red, black to black. You cannot get any simpler than that. Bruh. So anyway, don't cut towards you either. That's the dumbest thing you could do. Cut away. Okay, red to red. Can be put in black to red. Things we don't do ever. Red to red, bro. So I done two strands like this. So I can do a little nice little French slip, bracelet build kind of thing. Twisty, twisty, Pandora bracelet kind of vibe. You know them ones, bro. You know them ones. The moment I connected it, there was a tiny spark. Bro, my life flashed before my eyes. But then the smoke cleared. The bike was alive. Test ride time. I put on my helmet, which let's be honest, it's the same as a saucepan and strap, so I was better off with just my cap. I do need better safety gear. And on all any good helmets that will look good on Rasta, let me know in the comments. And I pushed off anyways. At first, nothing. Then a hum, a vibration, suddenly. Oh my god, dreads everywhere. I was flying down the street, wind in my face and all that. The neighbors staring. One guy, I swear he dropped his sandwich, bro. I couldn't believe it. I had done it. 
I'm doing it. From broken, rusty scrap to budget Batman mobile. Rust on the ride. Bus stops. Never again. No bus stops. So on Monday, first thing in the morning, when everyone else was telling up to the fresh start place, I rolled in silently, smoothly, gracefully, like James Bond if James Bond had bought his gadgets from a yard sale. My boss said, you made it on time. And I just smiled because thanks to the cheapest electric bike build in history, not only did I make it on time, I made an entrance. Get past me. I'm doing the legal speed limit of 15 miles an hour. Yes, sir, because I am now legal. <laughs> I don't like to check on the bike, bro. Yeah. It feels good to be outside on a legal bike. I'm not gonna lie to you. This car might want to turn, turn it my way. Hopefully, it doesn't kill me. Woo, we went past without getting killed, which is great. Oh, late night shops opening up. Which obviously this guy is meant to give me way. Thank you. So he gives me way and then out we go. We are sat on a $20 bill. Woo! Holding it. Junction. Junction crossing. We good. Van driver is gonna come over to our right over here. We keep it to our left. Not panicking. This is absolutely epic. 